Hi, this is Kimmy from EverythingYourMamaMadeAndMore.com and today I'm going to show you how to um, take your Photoshop PSD image file and save it as an optimized PDF without losing the quality of your images and text. Um, when saving as a PDF and it not creating it in a tool like Illustrator or um, Adobe Pro. The problem you run into is Illustrator, for example, uses vector graphics that um, are basically math or code resizes them. So when you make them bigger or smaller, you don't distort them. Um, when creating text in Photoshop and resizing it, it will often cause issues with the image. So this is a, a file here we have from Ruby Jean's Closet and it's a page from a, a sewing pattern. And the current file size on this is five megs for one page. And if you have used PDF sewing patterns before, you know that there's generally a lot more than one page in the directions. So she sent me this file and it's just a regular Photoshop PSD file. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save it as a PDF. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to go to save as and I'm going to go from the Photoshop PSD file and I'm going to go down and pick Photoshop PDF. So. Um, and then I'm just going to give it a different name so I don't um, accidentally save over the original because you can always save it again if it doesn't turn out right the first time as long as you don't go for the original. So um, some of the settings that I use are um, different than the standard Adobe uh, settings and so when I save my file I select the smallest file size, but I modify that. Um, when I select smallest file size, here it gives me the Adobe 6 version um, and optimized for fast web preview. Why it's modified is because I also select the view PDF after saving. It pops it up automatically in Acrobat or Adobe Reader so that you can see if it did it the right way and test print it. Um, the other thing that I changed is for my compression, I have it set to downsample to 150 pixels per inch for any images above 225 pixels per inch. Um, JPEG compression, high image quality. So, and the reason to do this is that when the file is created in a higher resolution, you have a lot of quality there, but then when we're getting ready to save it for web viewing, the file does need to be smaller. So um, I'm just going to click save and it will pop up in my Adobe window and I can zoom in and see, um, I mean I'm zoomed in pretty far here and my resolution set quite high and you can see that there's no pixelation. and. I can go in pretty far. This is at 300% before you start to see any little distortions in there. So um, at 150%, which is the bigger size that people might zoom in, it it looks perfectly fine. And at 100% in print quality, it's it's nice. So now that I have this done, I'm going to open this and so this has like all my different files in here and so the original page if you look down here is 5.21 megabytes which is huge um, that's about the size of a lot of entire patterns or more most of my patterns are under 5 megabytes many of them being around 2 to 3 so if we come over here to our new PDF you can see we are down to 337 kilobytes, which is like, I don't know, maybe 5%-ish of the original size. If we try to um, 
save it with the regular um, regular PDF settings just if we were in Photoshop and just went save as PDF and we didn't change the resolution settings um, it would still be around five um, megabytes so and even with standard compression if I opened it up in um, open it up in Adobe Acrobat if you have that and save as optimized it still would only cut it down to 2.71 megabytes this particular pattern has eight pages so that would be about 18 megabytes and a lot of times anything over 10 is extremely difficult to send and anything over depending on the service provider for emails over 25 to 30 simply will not send um, so that's how I compressed my file I'm gonna let's see show you see this is the one if you just do the regular optimized here I'm at 125 percent and you can see all this pixelation that you've got and you know it just gets worse the bigger you get so that is how you save a PDF 